of uh, a paper from Hauser Plattner Institute in Germany called Level Up. So I'm sure you all saw the demo yesterday, very cool demo. Uh, this talk is going to be given by Robert Kovacs, and it's called Level Ups, motor Motorized Stilts that stimulate, uh, Simulate Stair Steps in Virtual Reality. Thank you. So my name is Robert Kovacs. Uh, this is my first guy, and happy to be here. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about level ups. As you can see, level ups are telescopic shoes which can uh, be worn in virtual environment in combination with head mounted displays. And as you are stepping on virtual objects, they expand, giving you the feeling that, that you are really stepping on the object. So, VR is obviously happening right now, that we have seen before. But we want to give more more immersion by providing physical feedback. So people have tried around a lot of things, haptic gloves, mocked up virtual ro rooms in the real world. But in this talk, we want to focus on the particular case when how to walk up and down stair steps in virtual reality. This has been traditionally done by locomotion, locomotion devices. These are stationary devices which ho are holding you in the place and giving you the f and you can walk walk in a place give, uh, having the feeling that you are you are really moving around but there is in the same time there is another trend in virtual reality of, uh, where people are debating that it's much better to to provide real walking to not to confine the user this gives you more immersive experience. So people have tried, ar tried around different combinations. Mo these m moving platforms are pretty cool. But we wanted to go a step further and to allow elevation in real walking environments with a wearable design. So that's why we created level ups. Here's a video of what I've shown where you can see the user stepping on virtual objects and the boots are expanding. And here you can see the main component is a lift table or scissor table. And we added a bunch of other components like the motor and the control electronics, but I will walk you through in a minute. So here is just another s other scene camera perspective when Sven, my colleague, is stepping on. So on the whole, our main contribution is that we created level ups, which are which are simulating elevation in real walking environment, and also these devices are wearable and wireless. So let me walk you through our uh, through the mechanical design. Personally, that that was simple and straightforward, except from that it was not. We created uh, lots of prototypes. As you can see, and made, <laughs> made different solutions. <coughs> but let me just so show you our final, final setup, final, final design. So the primary component is the lift table, which is an off-the-shelf component, normally operated by manually by this knob. So we needed to motorize it somehow. That's why we uh, made the blue carriage here, which uh, holds the motor and drives the shaft. And in the same time, it prevents the motor, motor from, the, from rotation left and right. We also added a uh, linear potentiometer, which was measuring the height of the lift table, giving the electronics a chance, chance to, to precisely control the height. But there is a little bit of more, more control. There are pressure sensors integrated in the tools and the heels of the device. Let me tell you why. So li first of all, first our initial des desire was to lift the person, lift the whole person's weight, but it was too heavy and would require much higher, much heavier mechanism. So we decided to actuate the mechanism when the foot is in the mid air. So that allowed us much lighter design and smaller battery, smaller motor. And that's why the pressure sensors are there to det detect if the user's foot is lifted up. 
and these pressure sensors are connected to an Arduino Nano, which also controls the motor and communicates via, via Bluetooth with the main, main computer. So the next pro challenge was to somehow give more flexibility to the food, as our our initial design was completely rigid. It doesn't felt very well. So we decided to add a little bit of flexibility with these fiberglass sticks at the bottom, which we actually get from a kit bow. Next, we needed also to stabilize the ankle because normally the human ankle is, is operating just a few centimeters above, above the ground. And here we lifted up the, the ankle up to about 30 centimeters. So this, this increased uh, the force lever. So we needed to, to add more support. And that's exactly what these boots does. They are allowing back and forth movements, as you see, but preventing the left and right wobbling of the ankle. And we find these, found these boots uh, from a normal rural, ba rural blade skates. So this is our final design. And we operated them in a typical VR environment with a com in combination with Oculus Rift. The MacBook Pro was on the user's chest. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, everything is wireless. No uh, ca cables are needed. The stilts are operated via Bluetooth. And to find out where the user is, we uh, set up a motion capture system around here with OptiTrack. So the software system was implemented in Unity 3D, and we made a simple step prediction algorithm. Because the stilts need, need some time for actuation, we needed to know in advance if the user want, uh, would step on on an elevated height. So we did a ray casting and and uh, measured the height in front of the user. To find out if the stilts are good, we ran a simple user study with 12 participants and they were stepping on and off virtual boxes. We tested three different conditions where the level ups are turned on against two control conditions where the level ups were turned off and the users were where the users were wearing normal shoes. And as you can see, uh, they enjoyed the experience most when their level ups were turned on and they also judged as the more realistic feeling. So as a conclusion, we, we allowed, uh, we brought the concept of elevation in real walking environments with a wearable and wireless design. And as next steps, we plan to do some, uh, we could do uh, multiple steps in a time. That's a challenge to increase the height of the stilts or to rearm by, by uh, time and to make fa the actuation faster. So that was all. <laughs> Thank you and happy to take your questions.